I team tonight. The president of the St. Bernard Parish Council has been docked pay for conducting parish business while he was on the clock as a teacher at a Chalmette High School. Both jobs are on the public payroll, and a complaint has been filed with the state ethics board. WDSUI team investigative reporter Travers Mackle is live at six with what the school system is saying about the situation. Travers? So the superintendent says once she was made aware of this situation, she acted and is now confident that this type of double dipping will not happen again. At the parish council meeting in St. Bernard, Guy McGinnis is in charge. And she said that. You, you He's that. the chairman of the council, and it's McGinnis who sets the pace for parish business. It also falls on McGinnis to schedule and conduct budget hearings each fall. Government and we're operating. And this is video of one of those hearings last November. The time stamped on the recording shows it took place in the early morning hours. Guy McGinnis. There in his customary role. Mr. McGinnis. Yes. And therein lies the problem. McGinnis, whose full time job is as a teacher and basketball coach at Shalmet High School, was also on the clock at Shalmet High. His timesheet indicates as much, but McGinnis concedes he wasn't at two places at once. I scheduled um, uh, budget hearings during my planning periods at schools, so I know the employees are here. Budget meetings coinciding with school hours mean McGinnis got paid for doing two public jobs at the same time. There are no state laws preventing a teacher, like McGinnis, from serving as a council member, but he has to make sure he's not double dipping, billing both entities at the same time. If you're going to have two public responsibilities at the same time, you got to work really carefully to make sure you're not getting paid for both of them. But on these days, McGinnis did. He claims he did not miss any class time while he scheduled the meetings. So I would drive over here in my planning period and drive back. I'm just trying to work hard and, and give the people over, over here an opportunity to be at, at the budget hearings. But the school system found McGinnis acted improperly. School superintendent Doris Voce tells the I team that when she became aware of the situation, she launched an inquiry into the matter and later went back and retroactively docked McGinnis. For the days he left to hold the budget hearings. The problem of supplemental pay is. Tulane University political analyst Mike Sherman says the school system had no choice but to act. Kudos to the St. Bernard uh, school system and the administration there for recognizing a little problem and taking corrective action. Sources say others in parish government have made the state ethics board aware of the matter, though that body will not confirm nor deny that any complaints have been filed. All I try to do is work as hard as I can for the people of this parish. And listen, um, you know, if, if I had to do some work during my planning period, I did. But I could tell you going forward, I will not. School Superintendent Doris Voce also sent us this statement, which reads in part It was brought to our attention that Mr. McGinnis did, on a few occasions, leave school during this non teaching planning period and lunch for the purpose of conducting business for parish government. While it is not unusual for teachers to leave school during those times to run personal errands, we consider his actions to be beyond that typical occurrence. Mr. McGinnis was docked for those non-teaching times he left school to attend parish business and, to my knowledge, this practice has ceased. Guy McGinnis remains the council chairman. Sulla. Travers, thanks for that. A longtime coach McGinnis was first elected to the St. Bernard Parish Council in 2011. He is up for re-election next year.